this we'll discuss that how can you teach students at this level let everyone join in and as we have discussed before you can introduce pupil book 2 at this age and you can also introduce pupil book 2 at uh, age 4 it depends on the school policy but you cannot introduce pupil book 2 unless your children have covered pupil book 1 and reader level 1 let's move back um to this slide this one it's very important after covering all of the seven groups your children are now at step five before moving to the pupil book two they should read lots of words phrases and sentences orange and red level of readers tricky words one till 24 can understand capital letters no sound when shown capital letters and writing dictation of sentences tricky words encourage independent writing okay someone has raised hand yes sanam while everyone else is joining do you have any question can you please unmute yourself miss sanam yes yes Hi, Fatma. Uh, Fatma, I have a question for you. Uh, for example, if a child like, you know, all the, I mean, both these two books, your pupil book two and pupil book three, they are for the ages uh, for four to five years. Am I right? I mean, you book ke that you have to four to five years. Mein apne cover karwani hai. Aisa uh, hai? Ji, bilkul, aisa hai, Sanam. But sometimes in schools, there is a lot of issues. There are many schools in Pakistan that follow the system. In mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. first year, ke andar, एज 4 प्लस नर्सरी में सिर्फ एक ही बुक करवाते हैं और जो है वो ये दोनों बुक कवर नहीं करवाते ठीक है तो वी हैव बोथ ऑफ द ऑप्शंस ठीक है इफ यू वांट टू गो फॉर बोथ ऑफ द बुक्स इन नर्सरी एज 4 टू 5 और इफ यू वांट टू हैव जस्ट वन बुक एट एज 4 टू 5 एंड द अदर बुक एट 5 टू 6 बट इफ यू आर हैविंग ओनली वन बुक एट एज 4 टू 5 यू शुड फोकस ऑन द रीडर लेवल 1 Almost 18 readers need to be covered. Yeah, okay. Or okay. Fatma, jo ye jo, uh, pupil book one hai, thik hai, uska ye hai ke, for example, aaj kal, you know, uh, kids are there very sharp. So most of the kids, unki to schooling, hi, unke parents start unko three years se karte hai. So kya wo sounds of three years se bhi start karwa sakte hai? And, yes, and regardless. Uh -huh. uh, I think that uh, you have joined us late. Uh, at, at the age of 2.5, you can start teaching them the sound, but not with from the pupil book one. You should mm -hmm. introduce from other uh, materials yeah. so far. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there in your uh, presentation at that I'm time. I saw recording that. link, so you don't mm -hmm. need to worry about it. Okay. Okay, sure. You're welcome. Okay, so let's move to the recommended materials for this age level, pupil book two and three. But if your uh, school has some new admissions, you can quickly cover book one for them or have one month or one week or two week orientation where they don't have to do the coloring or lots of writing practice, but they just have to cover all the sounds and blending. Then then they come to the book two and three. Reader level two. And if the child has not covered the reader level one, you can put on the racks of the classroom and you can give these readers to the children, but it's uh, optional. Jolly Plays is another option. It's a wonderful book designed for fun activities. Okay, so you need to know that if your child is ready for people 2 or not. Before you teach people 2, the child should have the knowledge of all 42 letter sound, how to count the sounds in words, how to teach the alphabet song and alphabet names, how to use the word booklet, reading level one of readers as discussed before. Okay, what are they going to do in pupil book two? Alternative spellings, more tricky words, alphabet and letter names, why all are important, magic -y concept, how to write successfully, how to read with increased confidence, 
concept of why as the vowel sound, independent writing, how to write successfully through sounding, how to read words through blending, reading and spelling of tricky words. Okay, at this age, with your book 2 onwards, what's happening? This is the stage for reading and writing, reading and writing. Words, phrases and sentences, yellow level of readers. So all of those things are already there in the pupil book 2. Why as wall sound and magic key. In the magic keys concept, you tell them that when E is coming at the end of a three letter word, it is changing the short sound to the long one. For example, hop becomes hope. Name, these, time, bone, tube. Why sound in the beginning? Why as wall sound? Happy, curly, snappy, fly, by, cry. So when the Y sound is in the beginning, it is giving a Y sound. And when it is at the end, it is giving E sound or I sound. One syllable word, I sound. Two syllable word, E sound. And this is the um, complex concept of all alternative spelling. In this forest, you can see that all vowel sounds have got more spellings. Like this A, long vowel, short vowel and this one. This is the alternative spelling. A, E, magic E. An alternative spelling. I, O and U. You can also watch some of more of the tutorials about these alternative spellings. How can you assess the students? So these are the assessments. If anyone is interested in getting the pack of the these assessment PDFs, they can contact us or inbox me. I will share the PDFs of these assessments. Okay, stage two. In the stage two, they are at this level when you should know if they know the sounds, they can write the letters, blend, writing, tricky words, capital letters, and so and so. Dictation. So these are the dictation tips for all five stages. Stage one, dictation of sounds and words with consonant blends. Stage two, dictation of regular words with vowel and consonant diagraphs. Stage three, dictation of sentences. Stage four, dictation of questions and sentences. Stage five. Dictation of mixed up sentences with more complex vocabulary. Teaching Jolly Phony program without books. How? So it's also very important that how can you teach Jolly Phony program without purchasing books for the children. In some schools, the children are not able to have a high budget for purchasing all of the books. Then you can have the Jolly Phony handbook and you can get the photocopy material from the handbook. And you can also keep a reading scheme. All of the readers as a teacher is all, but you, you are not going to uh, put it in the book list and students are not supposed to buy all the readers or use the whiteboard software. But you should know the, what is the scope and sequence of the program. We will also discuss this. And if anyone has any questions about this, you can talk about it. If anyone has this, uh, the question about this, you can talk right now. What comes after Jolly Phonics program and why Jolly Grammar is important? Do you consider phonics for only preschool? How can you teach advanced spelling patterns to the children to junior school? Why Jolly Grammar is essential after Jolly Phonics program and how it works? It's very important because in some schools, they just end up teaching phonics after preschool. When the students are moving to grade one, they're again going to their same uh, uh, spellings like A double P L E apple, B O A T boat, like this. So, phonics program is not only for preschool. We just get them ready in the preschool for more complex spellings in junior school. आप ये देखें कि जो कुछ भी उन्होंने preschool के तीन सालों में सीखा है, वो सब कुछ भूल जाएंगे अगर आप उसको uh, consider nahi karenge.
So in the grammar lesson, you need to introduce them phonic lessons, grammar lessons, reading comprehension, creative writing, and assessment. So is there anyone who is ready to discuss and talk about uh, anything that is related to the transition period from moving preschool to grade one? अगर कोई भी टीचर कुछ भी डिस्कस करना चाहती हैं तो काइंडली आप डिस्कस करें यू कैन आल्सो रेज योर हैंड इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो इन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुजाली ग्रामर लेवल देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ लेसन इन द बुक एंड देन वी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट हाउ यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस इन द ग्रामर लेसन दीज आर द एक्टिविटीज for grammar lesson and before moving to this part and discussing it in detail let's have a 5 minute question session okay i have this question from the participant uh, look at the chat box you can type in the chat box and answer this question okay so do you consider phonics for only preschool if yes why and if no why not please answer this question as soon as possible please give reasons it's important to give reasons <laughs> 